Let us now take the fourth model from percentages. The one very important concept that we need to understand here is x is what percent of y. Now this particular model is very frequently asked in data interpretation. Now x is what percent of y can always be taken as x by y into 100. So whenever we see a question which is in the format of x is what percent of y, the answer should always be taken as x upon y into 100. For example, let's say we are talking about the strength of a class. So the question is boys are what percent of the total strength. So what we need to do boys are what percent of the total strength. So as you can see here x is nothing but the number of boys and y is the total strength. So the answer here should be boys by the total strength into 100. Similarly, if the question says the number of students who have passed is what percent of the total number of students. So we can take it as number of students passed by total number of students into 100. So whenever we find a question in this format, that is x is what percent of y, always take it as x by y into 100. The other ways of asking the same question here is what percent of y is x. Now this is as good as x is what percent of y. What you can see here is what percent of y is x. So the answer again remains x by y into 100. Similarly, it can also be taken in terms of what percent is x of y. Answer again is x by y into 100. One simple way to remember the formula here is that whatever is followed by of should always be taken in the denominator. For example, as you can see here, x is what percent of y. So that y goes in the denominator. Similarly, in the second case, what percent of y is x. So the answer again is x by y into 100. So as you can see here, whatever is followed by of goes in the denominator. And even in the last case, what percent is x of y. So of is followed by y and that y is taken in the denominator. So let's say if the question is r is what percent of k? The answer should be r by k into 100. Why? Because we are asking r is what percent of k? Or if the given question is what percent of z is m? So what percent of z is m? Answer here should be m by z into 100 but not z by m into 100. So one simple point here is whatever follows by of has to be taken in the denominator. And this model is very frequently asked when we go for data interpretation. Let us now take an example based on the model that we have just discussed. That is x is what percent of y should be equal to x by y into 100. The question here is in an examination Ramesh scored 30% less than Suresh and Mahesh scored 20% less than Suresh. So Ramesh score is what percent of Mahesh score. So as you can see here the given question Ramesh score is what percent of Mahesh score is in the form of x is what percent of y? So our answer here should be Ramesh score by Mahesh score into 100. Now the question says Ramesh scored 30 percent less than Suresh and Mahesh scored 20 percent less than Suresh. No way in the question either the marks of Ramesh, Mahesh or Suresh have been specified. So what we can do here is let us assume that Suresh score is equivalent to 100 percent. Why? Because we are comparing Ramesh score and Mahesh score with Suresh score. So let us take the reference that is Suresh score as 100%. Now as it says Ramesh scored 30% less than Suresh. So we can say that Ramesh score should be 100% minus 30% which should be equal to 70%. And similarly Mahesh scored 20% less than Suresh. So Mahesh score can be taken as 100% minus 20% of 100% that is equal to 20%. So 100% minus 20% is 80%. Now we have to find out Ramesh score is what percent of Mahesh score. The answer here should be Ramesh score by Mahesh score into 100. Now as we know that Ramesh score is equivalent to 70%, we can take this as 70% upon Mahesh score is equivalent to 80% into 100. So this can be taken as 7 by 8 into 100. And from the knowledge of fractions, we must be able to say that 7 by 8 is equal to 87.5%. So we can say that Ramesh score is 87.5% of Mahesh score. So this is how we can apply the concept that is x is what percent of y in solving certain questions. But generally, this concept is more frequently asked when it comes to data interpretation.